Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 6-22, launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad, and here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow, because we believe that space is better together. If you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the stream, invite people to join us as we count down now just the final minute, six minutes, 20 25 seconds and counting until launch. We're waiting for SpaceX to begin their live broadcast and we'll patch them in. We got Mike watching from Columbus, Edward in California, Strata Blasters in Pennsylvania, Jimbo's in Arkansas, Kazakh is in Kazakhstan. We got Jeff in Las Vegas, Clipper in, uh, excuse me, Clipper in Alberta, Canada. Great to see another Alberta. We got Siberian in Maryland. And we got David in Michigan and Mark in Minnesota. It's great to have you all joining us here as we count down the final six minutes and counting until launch here this evening. This is the first of two launches happening tonight, or at least scheduled to happen. We have Starlink 7-4 scheduled to launch from Vandenberg in a few hours from now, but we're waiting for confirmation that they're continuing with that flight. But everything is pointing that they will be going for two SpaceX launches here this evening. Once we do have the live feed from SpaceX, we will patch that in to you here. Take a moment, engage that like button, share out the stream, invite people to join us as we continue to count down these final minutes until the launch of SpaceX Falcon 9 from Slick 40. 27 minutes ago, we did have confirmation from SpaceX the propellant load had begun and the 22 Starlink V2 minis were on board ready for today's mission. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by tagging us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live to the best of our ability throughout tonight's broadcast. As usual, SpaceX is no longer broadcasting their full launch through payload deployment, so you'll be able to watch that confirmed through social media. Lots of people just joining in. We got Gulfstream from Southern California. Ellie's in Germany. Kistney is in West Hollywood. Welcome. We got Ian from New Zealand. Great to have you joining us here this evening. We are running this through our mobile system, uh, so that might be why our audio is a little bit lower, but uh, we will work on uh, fixing that volume here for you in just a moment once we get SpaceX patched in, as we should have that live feed from them momentarily as we do now we want to patch this in for you a live view from slick 40 at cape canaveral space force station in florida where it started t minus four minutes 25 seconds and counting until launch spacex running uh, quite a bit of a delay there you can see our clock in the top right corner we have that set for about a 15 second delay uh, but we're running almost a full minute delay here uh, this evening this is one of the differences we've seen with SpaceX having switched over to broadcasting exclusively on X is introducing that bit of a delay. And our clock's a little acting up tonight, so we're just going to use the SpaceX clock. Uh, apologies about that. If you're just joining us, though, welcome. You're looking at a live view of Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We have a T-minus 3 minutes, 45 seconds and counting until launch. You're listening to live raw sights and sounds from Slick 40. You can see there in the set, to the right of the Falcon 9 the new crew access tower being erected. We had a first look via social media. Some people spotted the new crew access arm out at one of the hangars at Cape Canaveral. Looks very similar to the one at 39A. It's a couple of little differences, obviously based on a different tower, but uh, will look very much the same for most of the structure. Strongback Retract is well underway. Stage 1 lock load is complete. T 
minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. haven't yet take a moment engage that like button share out the stream by people to join us so we are now at t minus two minutes and counting as always we want to see that go no go in the chat for tonight's launch stage two locks load is complete Ground gas close, close up. up. We're now waiting for that call up from the launch director, giving a final go for launch. That's set to be happen at 45 seconds to launch. minus 60 seconds. Tonight's Falcon 9 is Falcon going 9 for its 14th up. flight. Having previously supported CRS-22, Crew-3, Turkasat-5B, Crew-4, CRS-25, Utilsat, Hotbird-13G, M-Power-A, PSN, Satiria, and five Starlink missions. T minus 35 seconds and counting. Tonight it's targeting a landing on a shortfall of Gravitas, and we will stay live through that booster landing. T minus 25 seconds again. Hold, hold, hold. And we've had a hold Launch on the port is running. did have a hold called in the countdown clock. This will likely mean a scrub for this evening's uh, flight due to the fact that they had gone into fueling and their last backup opportunity would not give them time to fully recycle. We'll wait to hear any more updates from them. If I recall correctly, this is the first hold we've had with them broadcasting on the new X system, so it will be interesting to see uh, what information we do actually get before they kill the broadcast. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage. If you're just joining us, we did have a hold called across the net, T minus 23 seconds. And we are waiting more information, but it was at that final call. Welcome, super enthused. Yes, we have had a whole hold called. We've seen the clock now reset to T minus 15 minutes. We see this normally, and the clock has been removed, and a countdown hold that is a new graphic from SpaceX. We're looking at a live view of Slick 40 as we await an update. Tonight's Falcon 9 was going for its 14th flight. Having supported two crew missions, many commercial cargo missions, and five Starlings.
If you're just joining us though, welcome. You're looking at a live view of Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, where we did have a hold called at the T minus 23 second mark in the countdown. We are awaiting updates from SpaceX on how they will proceed. Tonight's launch window was extend to 7.10 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, which is 30 minutes from now. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, they do actually have uh, enough time in that window if they can recycle back to 15 minutes, but uh, it is generally what we see from SpaceX is they would rather take the extra 24 hours, scrub for the night, and go for another launch attempt. No other information has been provided at this time. And they have ended their broadcast for the evening. So that confirming that there has been a scrub for tonight of SpaceX Starlink 6-22. If this was your first time here, though, make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage. And we invite you to join us over on the TLP Discord. That's where our community hangs out in between launches. We do have a second launch scheduled for just a few hours from now out of Vandenberg carrying Starlink 7-4. And we hope we will see you back then for that launch coverage or for another launch coverage right here on the launch pad because space is better together. Good night.